Crime is rising, and radical Democrat policies have had deadly consequences. Not only have homicides risen, but there were more law enforcement officer fatalities in 2020 than there have been in 46 years. In 2020, 264 law enforcement officers tragically died in the line of duty, some from COVID-19 as a result of being first responders and others from getting shot while on duty. After Jen Psaki blamed Republicans for defunding the police, Peter Ducey asked her to name the Republicans who said they were voting against the American Rescue Plan, the massive left-wing spending plan that had nothing to do with the police. It was shoveling a lot of money to liberal special interest. It was giving money to states and local governments. And so the White House argument was, well, some of the money to state and local governments could theoretically have gone to police. So therefore, if you don't vote for the massive trillions of dollars in spending, you really want to defund the police. Well, unsurprisingly, Saki couldn't name a single Republican who said they wanted to fund the police or who gave defunding the police as a reason for not voting for Biden's $1.9 trillion pork-filled spending bill. The fact of the matter is Republicans are proud to support the police, to stand with the men and women of blue, while Democrats are demonizing and vilifying the brave men and women of law enforcement. And I want to say thank you to every law enforcement officer in this country. On the federal level, on the state and local level, thank you for answering the call each day, putting on the uniform, wearing the badge, and risking your life to keep us safe. This morning, all across this country, law enforcement officers woke up. They kissed their husband or wife goodbye. They kissed their kids goodbye, and they went out to defend our communities, and they did so not knowing if they would come home that night. We are proud to stand with the men and women of our police departments. And when it comes to facts and fiction, it is a cynical and calculated lie from the Biden White House that it is anybody other than Democrats who are leading the foolhardy charge to abolish and defund the police. It's dangerous, crime rates are skyrocketing, and it's an exceptionally bad idea. I yield the floor. Ma Madam President. The Senator from Maryland. Uh, thank you, Madam.